Hi, hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at pop tab storage. Uh, this is for things like inside the safe and containers and whatever else you want to put them in. Um, this is then you can increase the size of the however much you want to store in them. So, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, first, first, bleh. God, can't even get my words out. Right, first thing you're going to do is head to my Dropbox and you're going to download this folder right here. In that folder, you're going to have th this one file on the right hand side. Uh, once you've got these and you've downloaded these, uh, head to wherever your server is installed and we need to head to your MP Missions folder. Uh, this is obviously my test server on the left hand side here. And we're going to head down to the MP Missions folder. Uh, you're going to unpack your trusted PBO, whatever that is, doesn't matter what it is, you could be using something completely different from Chinaris Reader. Uh, you could be using Altus, Tanoa, um, Stratus, anything. They're all the same. They're all filed the same. They're just different maps. Um, go ahead and open this with a PBO Manager. Right click and extract to Exile. Um, so the bottom link. Um, obviously, if you haven't got PBO Manager, go ahead and download it. Yeah, I think it's on Armaholic. Um, but yeah, uh, once you've unpacked it, don't forget to keep um, your last working PBO. Uh, just go ahead and create a, a folder called Originals or uh, Backup or whatever it is that you want to call it. And go ahead and drag and drop that into there. This is the last working file that you know of. Um, just saying you've got a backup, really. Um, it was, it's a lifeline. Uh, right, so once you've unpacked it, obviously mine's unpacked here. Uh, we are going to head into the... Um, I'm going to use Charge Redux. So we're going to head into your folder and... Uh, it's telling us over on the right hand side here that we need to head to the config.cpp um, so right so we're going to open this and yeah voila yours is going to look something similar to this um, and we will open up this one and yeah we'll just make that so it's that's it. So it looks like everybody else's. Um, right, we'll move that over to there as well. Right. So this is obviously what you've just downloaded uh, on the right hand side, and on the left hand side here, this is my um, my server. Uh, you are going to head down to uh, the pop tabs. Yep. So pop tab storage. So you want class CFG pop tab pop tab storage. You can either copy and paste this whole um, piece over um, my piece here or you can um, take out pieces that you don't want so if you didn't want like the bunker for example to hold um, 500 million then you could just edit that line out um, you don't necessarily need all this uh, like the saves yeah you can change all these amounts as well on the right hand side here you can change all these um, the m amounts um, yeah, you can add to this as well if you want wanted to, if you really wanted to. Um, but yeah, you know, there's just all little things. I mean, like um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I I added the camo tent um, to this, which I don't think is even on this list. Mm, no, I just added um, the camo tents, and it'd hold one and a half million. Uh, just just for shits and giggles, really, because who is gonna stick one and a half million pop tabs in a camo tent? You know probably get you one noob that comes on your server and does that but yeah anyway guys back to this because it's meant to be a quick fucking tutorial um yeah just go ahead and copy and paste uh, this in there edit what you've got to edit change the prices that you've got to change uh, well prices the the max amount of pop tabs and go ahead and whack them into your server on the left hand side and then obviously don't forget to save uh, we can get out of that because we don't need that anymore uh, go ahead and go back on your server and repack your pbo um right click PBO manager and top link uh, once you've done that fire up your server and you'll have pop tabs in your well you won't have pop tabs in there but you will have the amount in the um, in the containers or um, whatever else that you can go up to this might kind of makes it easier for people to transfer money as well um, like players and stuff if you do have like set limits um, on your server obviously people can just put um, transfer money from player to player and yeah it just makes it a little bit easier for people um, obviously if you do have um, a limit on your locker as well it gives people a bit of a boost in their um, within their um, saves and stuff that they can add stuff in um, obviously we do realize that the you know these saves are um, raidable but you know it's 
player's own risk, really. But right, anyway, guys, um, hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. Um, if you do get stuck, guys, head over to my Discord channel. A uh, link for that is at the top of my uh, YouTube page on the right-hand side, right, right next to the big fat donations button. Right, guys, I will see you in the next video. See you later.